now that your cupcake has the bottom paper and some of the frosting, we're gonna finish up our cupcake. So if you need to rip some more paper for your cupcake, so that you have plenty of frosting that kind of looks like a triangle, you can add that first, making sure that you have a nice big cupcake. Remember, you're adding glue and adding the ripped paper to your cupcake. When you have it all filled up, then Mrs. Air will give you a little cherry. You can put your cherry wherever you like it. How you know which side to glue is one side will have a green line on it. That's the side that you want to lay onto your glue stick and rub it with your finger. Then you're gonna pull it off, okay? so that you glue that stripe down. So then I would figure out where I want my cherry and hold it down for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. When you're done, then the last thing you can do if you'd like is add sprinkles onto your cupcake. So the next step would be to come to a spot where there is newspaper and you're going to put your cupcake on the newspaper. You'll have a couple different colors and you will have one paintbrush for each color. So there'll be a paintbrush dipped in for each color. You don't want to use the wrong color because then your sprinkle will be the wrong color and it will mix. So when you're ready, you're going to take whatever color you'd like, dip it in the paintbrush, and you're just gonna make a little line for the sprinkle. So I'm going to start with the first color, making little tiny lines. They're kind of like the broken lines all over your frosting. Then you'd switch to the next color. Now you might just want two color sprinkles. That would be okay. Or you might want all of the colors, but remember, Stick with one color and then switch to the other paintbrush and the other color. Remember, these are just little sprinkles. Don't paint in your cupcake because we want that frosting to show. Have fun, artists.